Join our podcasts. ELB Professional Languages Brazil. WhatsApp number 5586-9997-5812. Hello there. Welcome to PLB Podcasts. Unintelligent Life. A Practical Guide to Relationships, Intimacy and Self-Esteem by Julian Short. Part 2 Self-esteem is a sausage. If you are short of breath, starving or cold, you will be totally focused on your body. You will give very little thought to your affectionate relationships your hairstyle, or whether someone has used your coffee cup. When your life is not under threat, other emotions will demand and get your attention. You have a sense of your own existence that is much more than your physical body. Your sense of being you is much bigger and more diffuse than the flesh that you can see and feel. I shall call it your spirit, nor in a mystical, metaphysical sense, but merely to acknowledge that you have an emotional self as well as a physical self. The survival needs of your spirit are derived from the survival needs of your body. Belonging has become love. Territory has become individuality. I choose to use the word love in its broadest sense, rather than confining it to only the most intimate relationships. I use love to cover every form of fond belonging, Certainly, you can hope to find love in the arms of a mother, a brother, a friend, and a lover, but it comes in a hundred other varieties. There is a sense of love in your attachment to family, groups, clubs, teams, churches, religions, tribes, nations, or even a flag. If you have the gift of empathy, you can find love in your bond to a tree, a mountain, or an animal. Love is all the variations on the theme of warmth, safety, and belonging through attachment to those whom you identify as your own. Love blends you securely with the herd. Your territory is a human being, is harder to define. It is all the obvious material things and places, but it is much more than your car, your garden, your place in the queue, or even your personal space. You have a sense of personal territory, which is your individuality, defined by your physiology, ethics, philosophy, morality, and all things you believe to be good, right, holy, and true. Your individuality is a territory of your spirit, defining you as separate from the herd. For our ancestors, strength was the physical power to fight for, hold and even extend their territory. Now, living in a civilized society, physical strength is very rarely necessary for protection of physical territory and illegal as a means to extend it. Strength now means strength of character. Strength is still the ability to hold and even extend our personal or spiritual territory. The strength and power of your individuality is defined by your creativity, dignity and integrity. It is your stature 
as a person, your potency, distinction, autonomy, and effectiveness of your self-expression. Strength means being able to stand up for yourself and your beliefs, even at the risk of rejection, resisting the temptation to give up your individuality for the safety of conformity in order to please and secure your place in the herd. Unfortunately, terrified of being weak, some people feel they have to win and they confuse strength with stubbornness. An intelligent life provides rules for effective self-expression without aggression. Strength is the ability to assert your individuality without aggression.